Greetings. I'm Innocent, your benevolent host for this evening. And welcome back to Horror Dies. Oh gosh, Horror Dives. Man, I really need to fix that. Today's dive is into the creature of the Wendigo. This creature was brought into the spotlight and considered popular due to the game Until Dawn in recent light. Whereas in this creature is the main antagonist slash bad monster that you need to avoid else you die. When I played that game, I noticed that they brushed over the actual lore of the creature and although that might have simply been my own gameplay, it caused me to want to tell people more about this monster. The first time that this creature was ever recorded to exist was well over 40,000 years ago in the Algonquian folklore. The Algonquians are native to the northeastern United States and most of Canada. But we're not here for our history lesson on these people. No, we're here for the folklore. However, if you do want to know more about these people, I've linked a video in the iCard as well as in the description below. Wendigos are most commonly associated with greed, murder, and other taboos of the culture such as cannibalism. A distant cousin to the beast is the Wachuge of the west coast of the Americas. However, they're only related in what they become, not what cause it. These beasts are typically human, be it a human whom was turned corrupt or a human whom was possessed by a corrupt spirit. The result of what they become is all the same, an evil, malevolent creature that has a hunger of human flesh. Basil Johnston gave this description of a Wendigo's appearance. The Wendigo was gaunt, to the point of emaciation. Its desiccated skin pulled tightly over its bones. With its bones pushed out against its skin, its complexion, the ashy gray of death, and its eyes pushed back deep into their sockets. The Wendigo looked like a gaunt skeleton, recently discerned from its grave. What lips it had were tattered and bloody, unclean and suffering from the superlations of flesh. The Wendigo gave off a strange and eerie odor of decay and decomposition, of death and corruption. Yet, the descriptions of Wendigos differ from tribe to tribe, some say they look like a gone human who has been long dead, as I've already previously stated. Others say that it's a sickly tall beast, whom has the head of a deer, while there are others that say it looks akin to an ape, just... off. Many a tribe perform rituals during periods of famine to try to ward off Wendigos, and try to help prevent the new ones from coming, as well as teach others the taboos of becoming one of these... beasts. Now, like any other folklore, who is to say that these beasts are real, or simply made up to discourage people of the taboos of things such as cannibalism? But there are certainly a lot of people who do believe in them, and for good measure too.